Well, the historic mansion that houses Nashville's staple Monell's could soon be demolished. Officials with the restaurant posting on Facebook asking to help save the manor. This as the Metro Nashville Airport Authority confirms with News 2 that they will not be renewing the lease on the restaurant on Murfreesboro Pike. Well, Stephanie Langston takes a closer look at the mansion's history. The historic mansion known for its southern cuisine is Monell's since 2011, but the history behind these walls built in the 1930s extends well beyond what we see today. It was the real unofficial center of power in Nashville for many years. Known in the 1940s as the Colmere Club, a speakeasy kind of country club that attracted notable guests, politicians and musicians. It's such a special building, such a special history there. A history captured in thousands of negatives that Rob Hogan recently came across in an auction at a Portland, Tennessee museum. These negatives have got Hollywood uh, stars, uh, orchestras, uh, band leaders, uh, country stars. Uh, it's incredible. Among them, he's developed photos of Owen Bradley, a pioneer of the Nashville Sound, and this one of Tennessee waltz singer Tennessee Ernie Ford. And these are photos that nobody has ever seen. They're, they've never been printed. They, they, they're just, they've been negatives all these years. Bob Hope visited there. Annie Griffith was there. Uh, oh, you, you name it. Pretty much anybody that was coming to Nashville came here. The club known for their social events and an annual Easter egg hunt that drew thousands of children and their families to the grounds for decades. In the late 70s, the Colmere Club transformed into the New Orleans Manor, a destination for special occasions. When you wanted that 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 grand dining experience in a, a historic old house, old building like that as is still the case today as Monell's. As airplanes fly past the windows of the famed columned mansion, it's a spot that some say has been at risk for decades. This building has kind of had a target on its back for almost 80 years. Pointing to airport ownership with master plans to expand. You can look at it as that building had a pretty good run that most people probably didn't expect it to have. But that's not stopping pleas to save it, as airport officials say the lease on the Southern Staple will come to an end late April. Reporting from South Nashville, Stephanie Langston, News 2.